Hey gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a get it all done with me where I kind of take you along. We're going to do some cleaning, we're going to do some organizing, we're going to go grocery shopping together and just get a bunch of stuff done today. I have my Ohio State jersey on and today is one of the very first Ohio State games so I'm super pumped and I want to make sure that I can get all of my honeydews done before the game so I can kick up my feet and just sit back and really enjoy and have nothing to worry about because I got everything done. That is the goal. And I also want to give credit to Tiffany Beeston because she actually started this series, Get It All Done With Me, like she started that original concept. So I want to link her channel down below if you need extra motivation, she's got your back and I'm ready to take you guys along with me. Like I said, the house is a disaster and I have a million things to do. So let's get started. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a love friends, we love to cry to live because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up at the time of our lives. The night is in. stuff that no longer fits the girls or that we can donate that might be nice and some of this stuff is like from Kova's dad's that I'm just gonna have to put in a separate bag so that she can make sure she returns that to him so there we go and I also got some more hangers for laundry the biggest things I want to tackle for today is the girls room and just declutter it and make it because they have so much stuff this room is just a mess guys and they love playing and like creating little spaces, but it's just too much stuff. So I'm gonna be cleaning up their room pretty good today. Sever the ties, but I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see, but never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. Hi, hi, sweetheart. Somebody has been having a lot of acid reflux, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get some grape water or something that could help his tummy today when I go out to the store. Hi. Hi, Nick. Let me see you. Hi, baby. Oh, Sweet boy. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you feel better. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Onyx. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got free. 
Come on. I've got my princess with me today and we've got to go. We're heading into Once Upon a Child and I need to get some shirts for Huxley for preschool. And then we have to run to Trader Joe's real quick and then we have to get back home because we still have a lot of cleaning up to do. All right, so I just got back from Trader Joe's. I didn't film because it was so crazy in there and I hate being that person that is in other people's way. So I didn't even bust out the camera, but let me show you everything I got from Trader Joe's and then what I got from Once Upon a Child. I saved so much money. Let me, let me just show you what I got. So at Trader Joe's, I ended up spending 127. I got some of the organic spring mix, which I wanna use on their everything gluten-free bagels. And then I'd like to try this tomato basil sauce on the bagel and then do the lettuce and then add some tomatoes on top. So that kind of goes together. Then I got some blueberries, they're Huxley's favorite. I got these little mini grapes, tomatoes, vegan marsala. I got this turkey bolognese sauce and then some banana chips for James and little um, butter cups. I also picked up tortilla chips, I love those. And then I thought they'd be perfect with the pico de gallo sauce, which is so good. My mother-in-law taught me that and I love it. It's just like a really light snack for when you want something little and you don't want it super heavy. Got some ketchup, because we needed that. A thing of bread, mashed cauliflower, avocado, mushrooms, sweet potatoes, some trail mix for Huxley's therapy, some pistachios, and then I also got these little meatless chickens so that I can give that a try in like a salad or something like that. And then <laughs> Jacob picked out a couple snacks for herself. The s'mores bar, which I'm not gonna give them all this sweets. I just, I told her okay, but I'll probably put it up for like a rainy day or something and she really wanted these. Um, and then I got wild frozen blueberries for some of my smoothies and then some Japanese fried rice. I'm not sure what makes this Japanese or what makes it different. And I'm, I hope that is not meat. I'm hoping that's just like a vegetable or something. And then for the clothes, I, oh my gosh, this was the biggest savings ever. I spent $55 with taxes, and had I bought one of these shirts brand new, just one, I would have spent about 45 or more. So <laughs> I feel like this was one of the biggest wins. Let me show you. So I went to Once Upon a Child. I don't know if you have it where you are, but just a really good used clothing store that has a lot of like brand names. I will admit that their prices are a little bit higher, so you can get them a lot cheaper if you go to the thrift store, but it's harder to find what you're looking for. So let me show you what I got. I got a bunch of Ralph Lauren shirts for Huxley, and they're perfect for him because he likes to hold on to his shirt, but it doesn't mess up the collar. So I got him a bunch of those, and if I would've bought one brand new, that would've been about $46. I got another one that's yellow pattern, which was so pretty. This was only five bucks. I don't know, I really like that one. And I got this one for him for fall, which I think is so cute. This one's actually Baby Gap. And then I got this blue Ralph Lauren one, which is adorable. And I also picked up, this is, um, what is this? H&M, yeah, a little H&M one. Some Baby Gap boy shorts. And then I got this shirt, which I thought was really cute. I, I didn't get anything for Radley, and he has the least amount of clothes in the house, so some of these are for him. Like this shirt is for Radley. And this is from the brand Hatley. You can find this at Saks Fifth Avenue. So this shirt alone would have been quite spendy purchase. And then I also picked up this little race car shirt for him. And this one's from Crew Cut. Like I said, really good brands and like mint condition, looks like it's never been worn. Super pumped about that. And then for Onyx, I just picked up a couple basics. The Loved Baby Organic Lime, just a little onesie, and I have some pants that'll go perfect with that. And then a little sleeper. This brand is um, Saks Fifth Avenue 2, and it's Harper Canyon. Some people don't care about brands at all, and that is awesome. I don't really care either, just I know some brands, the quality holds up just a little bit better. And then I found a mud pie outfit for baby boy, and it still has the tags on. Guys, this was such a killer find. Mud pie is super expensive too. I used to be an eBay super seller, so I live for like kid clothes and like baby finds. This is so cute, three to six months, so he can't wear them yet, but 
To me, this was a total win. So cute. So I'm gonna wash all this stuff, put all that away, and then I've got some serious cleaning to do. And I also got this sweet wine. I've never tried it before, but I thought it would be perfect for tonight. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up. sent this candle to me and it is probably one of my favorites you guys know i love pancake candles this one is amazing it is so good i'm gonna be getting another one when it runs out yeah, so this was kind of a fail to get everything done with me because for the last five hours onyx wouldn't let me let him down he's finally sleeping but i'm literally pooped and exhausted like I said, he's finally sleeping. But guys, we're gonna have to get everything else done tomorrow because I can't keep my eyes open. Hey guys, today we are doing part two of cleaning the entire house. And today we're gonna be tackling the girls' room. It is quite a mess and I wanna organize it. I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to donate because this room literally tends to get so cluttery so fast and I think that's the reason like I know they're in here playing and I know they're having fun but sometimes there's just too much stuff or maybe there's just too much stuff in their room and we could put some of it in the basement are you ready we have to do it. I think it's gonna look super beautiful when we're done
some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah, for you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you.
this is all freezer burnt. It really upsets me to waste this much food. We've been trying to be really conscious of wasting and all of these are having freezicles, they're past the due date and they're completely frozen. So I'm like this one was open. That is so gross. Oh my gosh. We have been making more food from home, which is nice and using a lot of our Tupperware containers and like that's been really refreshing. And then another thing, I got this on Amazon. I've kind of been writing out our menus and trying to be more proactive. So I need to refresh this and get it kind of good to go. Are you talking? <laughs> Where's your shirt? Where's your shirt? Where's your shirt? Uh-oh. He woke up from a six hour nap and now Onyx is gonna need me, so. I think that's probably all I'm gonna be able to get done today. I wanted to be able to organize Radley's room, my room, my bathroom, and my bedroom, but realistically, it's just not possible today with a newborn. And I am going to count my blessings and be grateful for what I accomplished today and just let it be. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you wanna see from me next on my channel. I was thinking about doing like what I eat in a day or I have a video that might go out next week and I'm really excited for it. Um, I've got some of my supplies and I cannot wait. But if you want to see a lot of eating a day, let me know. And me and you are going to do 5 million nurses. Hi, baby. Hi. Bye, guys. Have a blessed day.